The film begins off with a scene of two snakes, one of which is white and the other is green. The two snakes are related to one another. They did give the impression of being quite young, despite having existed for more than a thousand years. The white snake was known by its Chinese name, Sujin. Both of the snakes were capable of transforming themselves into human form. Both snakes see a boy named Zion one day while they are up on a mountain. He was tasting the flowers on the mountain. Both of them are surprised to learn that human actually consume flowers. In actuality, Zion and his companions went there in search of various medicinal plants. He was traveling through the mountains at that time. It was the green snake in her original form that frightened him when she appeared there. As a result of his fear, he tumbles down the mountain and into the river below. After seeing it, the white snake feels sorry for Zion and his predicament. She has compassion for his situation. She turns into a person and goes into the river. She breathes into his mouth. She saves his life. After helping him, she goes away. When Zion awakens, he discovers that all of his friends have gathered around him. He asks them about the girl who saved his life. His friends say that we didn't find any girl here. It was all in your imagination. On the same day, a festival was to be held in the village. The master of the temple and his friends were also accompanying him to the festival. They had a doubt that monsters are gonna kill humans at this festival. Zion was heading that way with those herbs. Therefore, he takes all of them with him. On the other side, White Snake Sujin was missing that moment when she helped Zion. That how she saved his life by giving him her own breath. She was continuously thinking about Zion. In fact, she started loving him. She tells her sister, the green snake, that she wants to meet that boy. Therefore, both of them go to the same festival in the village. The same night, Master and his companions had come there with full preparation, because they knew that monsters can attack humans at any time. Green Snake meets the companion of the Master in the festival, because Green Snake liked him. She wanted to befriend him. He says that I can't talk to you right now as I'm here to catch the monsters. He didn't know that the girl asking him to be her friend was also a monster. But then the Green Snake sees Zion. She goes to him. She tells him that her sister loves him and she wants to meet him. Zion says that I don't know about your sister. He refuses to meet her sister. Green Snake falls into the river. She pushes his boat in order to take him to her sister. As he reaches there, Suxin confesses that she loves him. Zion says, but I love someone else. He says that I don't know who she is. She saved me by giving me her own breath. Hearing it, Sujin understands that he's talking about me. He loves me the way I do. She takes him back into the river to reassure him that she is the girl he loves. She's the girl who saved him. Now Zion was also aware of the fact that she's that girl. Companions of the monster find some monsters. He bravely fights with those monsters. Meanwhile, a monster injures Master's companion. Therefore, he calls his master for help. Then the master comes there to compete with them. He transfers them to hell and burns them to death. Sujin goes to Zion's house the next day. Seeing her in his house makes Zion very happy. They start living with each other and one day, get married to each other. On the day of the festival, the monster had bitten one of Master's companions. Therefore, Master's companion was changing into the monster. He gets upset due to it. He was tired of his life. If he becomes a monster, he'll be a danger to humans. Therefore, he was going to a deserted place to attempt suicide. While he was going to do it, the green snake comes there. She asks him that why he's doing such an act. She stops him to do this. On which, he replies that I'll become a monster. Therefore, I want to take my own life. The green snake, upon hearing it, informs him of her reality. She shows her snake tongue. She says don't worry if you become a monster, I am a monster as well. Afterward, we see Master going to the village. He finds many victims of the monster there. They were in difficulty in facing it. Therefore, Zion used to make herbs in order to save their lives. Sujin, on the other hand, was aware that they were being attacked by those monsters. They are very powerful and dangerous. It is impossible to cure them only with herbs. Sujin thus presses into those medicinal plants to save his husband's and those people's lives. Sujin had a rat which was her friend. It says, what are you doing Sujin? Don't you realize that giving your exhalation is a threat for you? It will make you weak. But Sujin was willing to help his husband and other people. When Zion makes villagers drink that herb fluid, they start to heal. It makes Master shocked, because according to him, it was impossible to cure these people. 
but seeing them healing, he is left astonished and puzzled. He inquires of Zion whether anyone assisted him in the preparation of these herbs, on which he replies, Yes, my wife helped me. Master acknowledges that his wife wasn't a normal human but a monster. Therefore, he gives Zion a holy knife for his safety. Then Master goes to Sujin. He asks her why she's doing this stuff. You married a human in spite of being a monster. Why do you live like humans among them? I am not saying anything to you as you are a good monster. You should better leave Zion. Otherwise, the end wouldn't be good. I'll kill you. Saying it, the master leaves. At the night when ex Zion reaches home, he brings a medicated wine. It heals against snake venom. But Sujin was a snake herself. Zion makes her drink this wine as well. Drinking it, she starts feeling weird and her state worsens. She locks herself in a room. Zion asks her why she's acting like this. Or if you're mad at me, Sujin couldn't control herself and becomes a snake. To catch her, the master also comes there. They face each other. Zion stabs her with that holy knife that was given by the master. He didn't know that this white snake was his wife. After getting stabbed, Sujin goes to her sister the green snake. As she got stabbed by a holy knife so she was unable to transform into human form ever again. She'll be a snake forever. Zion asks the master about his wife. Master says that in fact, this white snake was your wife. You married a 1000 years old snake. He becomes shocked after acknowledging the truth. Sujin's rat tells Zion about a herb that can save Sujin's life. But getting that herb is risky and so dangerous. Because monsters have occupied that place. Regardless, Zion goes there and tries to find the herb. Zion, on the other hand, is overshadowed by monsters. All companions of the master try to save Zion. Rat goes and gives that herb to Sujin that saves her life. Now, she could take human form again. As she recovers, she attacks the master and his companions. She understood that they wanted to separate her and Zion. She brings Zion to a place somehow. She asks him if he's okay but he had lost his memory. He was unable to remember anything even his wife Sujin. Sujin asks the master that what did you do with my husband Zion, as he has forgotten me. However, pretty quickly, his recollection gets back and he comes back to normalcy. But as Sujin was a monster, master makes an ancient house using his powers. He imprisons her in it forever. It was impossible for her to step out of that house. Zion spends his entire life outside the house waiting for his wife. Master's companion had also become a monster but a good one. He spent the remaining years with the monsters. Here, the movie ends. Thanks for watching.